There's a debate out there to be had of Valorant and could it be the most toxic game slash esport to ever be in the scene and I'm uh, I'm one to talk about this one certainly a very interesting topic to talk about you guys of course as per usual can leave your thoughts down below and my two cents is yes this quite possibly could be the perfect culmination the perfect mixture the pinnacle of toxicity we see for a game and an esport I'll explain myself as to why because you combine two of the biggest other esport communities out there also known for being toxic that being CSGO that being League of Legends you mesh those fan bases player bases, viewer bases together, and I don't mean offense by this, okay? A lot of you guys watching are probably not near as bad as the people that represent those communities, but let's be honest, right? CSGO is known for housing some very toxic people when it comes to matchmaking and solo queue. All right, I speak from personal experience. Yeah, I suck at the game, but still, some of the words that have been said to me and even to other pro players and both female and male players in general have been pretty, pretty bad. Also on top of that, you culminate that with League of Legends, which I would say is even more notoriously known for toxicity, especially some of the lead streamers out there, TF Blade and Tyler Want. Come on. All right, no one out there is denying it. I don't mean offense by it. I do enjoy watching TF Blade and Tyler and other people, you know, rage or rage quit at some moments in time. But to culminate these two very toxic and already well-known toxic communities into one, and you add one thing that League of Legends has been deprived of for quite some time, that being, you guessed it, voice chat. I seriously do think just those three things alone has potential to make this one of the biggest esports, you know, in the in the world right now, but certainly probably one of the more toxic ones as well. This has been brought to light by several articles out there, also Gen G Jaden, many other uh, streamers, personalities, and players, if you just check Twitter, have talked about this as well. And also, many of the streamers you do watch, if they have not said anything about it, that's because when you watch your favorite streamers, they're usually five-man stacking with some of their closest homies, and you're never going to hear that toxicity. Now, what I've tried out, in my own experience, to defend the game a little bit, whenever I've been playing, I've been three, four, or five-man stacking with a couple or a few buddies, I haven't experienced anything too bad. In fact, the worst First experience I've actually had is people just not using their microphones. It blows my mind you can afford a PC. I know that Valorant can be ran on a potato, so they say, but the fact you can afford a PC but not a $3 microphone um, from eBay from some sort of off-seller, it actually blows my mind the number of games that I join and no one talks. Or they talk in round 11 of the first half saying, hey, they check in and then... Sorry, I'm not going to go off on that tangent. But I will say my co-workers have all attested to the fact when they have solo queued, this game for both males and females can be very, very toxic so far. And Jaden, by the way, from Gen G does touch on this. Not only female players receive this kind of harassment, but male players as well, especially if you are suffering when it comes to stats-wise. Uh, we've seen some pretty toxic behavior so far in this game, and I don't doubt it. From a scene I've came from, especially when it comes to Counter-Strike, and especially towards, yes, I will say it, female players and pros, they get a hefty amount of backlash no matter what the game, and I would not doubt it to be present in this game as well. And so, you know, that's my two cents on this. When you culminate two of the more notoriously known communities for being a bit maybe on the angry or more harassment side of things. I do expect this game to be very toxic. How long will voice chat last? Well, it almost has to now, right? It's an FPS strategy game. You need that voice chat to be an option. Uh, I've always found it very surprising League of Legends did not have some sort of notion of that either. You can't just have in-game chat, I believe, when it comes to a game that could be this important based on strat uh, and tactics. So what are they going to do to combat this in the future? I have no idea. What do you guys think about this? Could Valorant possibly be one of the more toxic games we see? Yeah, it certainly could. Not only the communities, but of course the player base and viewer base being this large so far off the bat. We're going to see it time and time again. And on top of that, we have not seen a game like this take off so fast where people don't know what they're doing. And so people get triggered by that, right? You're going to see a bunch of new players for the next few months, even, you know, for the next probably year or so, you're going to see a bunch of new players join in, hop into the game, not know what they're doing. And they'll run into more experienced players on their team, unfortunately enough. And they're going to be corrected pretty fast and probably talked down to by a lot of people out there. The only thing we can do, be happy, guys. Be nice about it, and we'll see what other news comes out of this one. Until next time, hope you guys all enjoy. Drink your Wawa, drink your coffee. If you guys ever get queued up with me, I will try my best to be nice. I, I promise you that, okay? Just don't expect me to be on top of the leaderboard. Okay, until next time, ta-ta.